on, everyone? Liam Caddison here with episode two of The Hundred, which is called Earth Skills. The second episode to my secret show, which you can all throw your spears at me at, like Jasper, uh, like Jasper got in the first episode, of course. Uh, yes, we had a very, very interesting introduction to The Hundred, and I'm expecting things to pick up in later episodes. It was just a nice little introduction, and very, you know, fun and interesting stuff going on in the last episode, too. Um, make me, you know, want to continue what, ha uh, what else happens, uh, in this show. It's a really, really nice setup. I don't think I've reacted to, I don't know, a dyst uh, yeah, a dystopian kind of future for Earth, uh, based show before, like an apocalyptic Earth zone, of course, because, of course, um, the last episode showed, uh, 100 juveniles, I guess you could call them, or 100 lab rats, because they practically are that, to test out Earth, of course, since uh, it was um, deemed un, you know, survivable, I guess. And, yeah, it, it seems like they are having the time of their lives for now. I mean, there could be long-term effects, you never know, but for now, it's all party. Well, it's not so much party, because like I said, Jasper got a spear to him, so that's great, um, as you casually do. But yeah, it's it's still not really much of a good place as above the Ark as well, whilst they're, you know, well, they were monitoring uh, the prisoners, of course, but they all took off their little bracelet life monitor thing in above, so yeah. Um, but yeah, it's like I said, it's not looking good for the people on the Ark, of course, because, you know, there are some drastic measures, you know, being considered there because resources are getting low, people are going to end up hungry, and we might have to do some killing, so ain't that always fun, people? Anywho, um, yes, I'm really looking forward to, you know, feathering my, um, experience with the with this show because like i said the first episode was interesting but you know as i said in the last episode don't worry this is not going to be a five minute introduction like the last one um um it's a show that i've been you know meaning to get to for quite some time so i just hope the the wait has been worth it um so far i mean we can't judge from one episode but so far i'm really really satisfied with what we got uh, and uh hopefully that does you know improve so with that said let's just delve into episode number two of season one of the hundred let's go what are they oh Why lord that makes the adventure even more fun jasper he's alive Wait, how he should be dead like, I'm not gonna lie, that... Jasper should be dead. I mean, I've seen... Funnily enough on CW, I've seen less impaling injuries that were fatal. And we all know who we're talking about. Is this what you want? Chaos? What's wrong with a little chaos? Yeah, what is wrong with a little chaos? I have no problem with chaos whatsoever. Bellamy! <laughs> you know, we want the art to think that the ground is killing us, right? Figured it'll look better if we suffer a little bit first. Oh, shh! You can stop this. Stop this? This is barbaric. I'm just getting started. Oh, come on! Why you gotta be a dick? This is for my father! Oh, shit! Oh, shh! Let him go. It was it was Bellamy's fault. There are people here. Survivors. The good news is that means Maybe we there can were portions of Earth that wasn't. Radiation won't kill us. Yeah, the bad news is the grounders will. Where's the kid with the goggles? Or maybe the scientists were just completely wrong. That wristband on your arm, it makes you a prisoner. We are not prisoners anymore. They say Here's Mr. Hillcrest. I say you're not criminals. You're fighters, survivors. The grounders should worry they're about going us. Listen, they're going to listen. Yeah, they're going to listen to Bellamy. She's using her head. The hope isn't enough. Not when the end of the human race is at stake. You want to see me? Oh, dearie. Hope is everything. And the chancellor that I voted for, he knew that. 
I'm done here. It's a thing you can't wait four months for something that could turn out for a bust in his eyes. I had nothing to do with the attempt in your life. But I'm not surprised that it happened. You're too weak to do what now has to be done. Oh and boy. I'm not the only one who knows it. This is great. I'm here for you. Clark, what are you doing? I hear you have a gun. Oh, we got. Oh. Hey, follow me. That's the talk. You got a spear. We got guns. <laughs> because you want them to follow you. And right now, they're thinking only one of us is scared. Oh. <laughs> the Ark thinks the prince is dead. And they think the princess is too. They'll never come down. Oh, he's using the suit. I'm oh. getting that wristband. Even if I have to cut off her hand to do it. I don't like him. I absolutely do not like him. He's frustrating. <laughs> this is up for his advantage at the end of the day. It's not something noble. Clark doesn't even see you. It's like you're not even here. Oh, he actually does. He actually you may not be my real brother. Does he actually feel for Clark? He's always oh. been there. Every memory I have, there's Jasper. Oh. I should be out there. You're not gonna cry. Some, are of, you? some of the relationships are just nice. Shut up. No. When it gets pulled no. over by the snake. Ah, no. uh, no. damn it, man. Yeah, it's just said it. Have a bit of fun. You can afford that. I'm sure Jasper's uh, fine with his new friends. I'm sure they can't be that bad, right? I think I know. Couldn't save your father. Oh. It's that aspiration not to fail, like you did with your father. They're taking them off. What? Why would they do something so reckless? Because Freedom. we told them not to. And they're kids, come on. Well, the, the kids turning into adults, but still. Ooh, that's beautiful! I mean, they could be dangerous, but they're still beautiful! You blame her? Starting off, I mean, come on. See? They're beautiful. Beautifies. Call them that now. Oh, they go, yeah, here we go, here we go. It's the butterflies. Okay, that's not good. And I would start, you know, hiding, because oh this could be a trap. The hell is Check this? for traps. We need to get him down. I'll climb up there and cut the vines. Yeah, yeah, I'm with you. No, stay with Clark. Watch him. You. Finn's gonna go. die. There's a pulse on his wound. Medicine? Why would they save his life just to string him up as live bait? Maybe what they're trying to catch likes his dinner to be breathing. Maybe what they're trying to catch is us. More the merrier. The violent... in favor is to vote to call 209 citizens of the Ark from the supply grid in order to extend life support for those who oh, remain wow. by six months. All those in favor? Oh, wow. Aye. Aye. I mean, it's for the survival, I guess. All of, those opposed? Nay. Nay. Three votes to three. Hey, you're not counting me! <laughs> well, the truth is, I don't know. So if he's alive with... or dead. But I still have hope. Something you can't rely the on. For every day. I ask again, how does the Chancellor So like a hun the Chancellor abstains. Oh dearie. You have ten days. It's a very difficult process, isn't it? Like... It's not more. It's not right, anyways. But 
you have to think about you know the human race as well and how we're limited and how we could be led to extinction. Oh dearie! There's another one, isn't there? Uh oh. He could have been dead. No, she sees you. <laughs> you want me to get a hundred and thirty-year-old escape pod ready to stand up to the inferno of reentry in nine days? Can you do it or not? Come on, Raven. We have hope. Hell she yes, wants to go do down. But I'm going with you. You're not the only one with so many left on the ground. Ooh. Those are my terms. Take it Ooh. or leave it. Who's hungry? Survival. Got food. Why not? It could be tainted, just saying. I mean, we had a two headed deer, and you don't know what kind of shit's in that, so. Could be, yeah, uh, poisonous. Oh, are they, is he rewarding them? Like, if you take this off, you get it. Oh, 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 he's, he's stepping in. Is Raven connected to Finn? Got a point! This is supposed to be liberation free and you're setting up rules? <laughs> uh oh. Oh, come on. This dick. Just gonna leave me here. No, Adam. I won't be disobeyed. <clears throat> oh my god. Bellamy's a bitch. Okay, you are creepy. No, oh my god. What? Um. Okay, you. You can skedaddle back to, you know, your hideout, okay? So that was episode number two of the uh, 100, uh, which was a nice little continuation of uh, where things left us off in the first episode, of course, after Jasper got stabbed. And I'm surprised he, you know, survived that. But, uh, hey, we got him back at least, uh, despite, you know... Um, being surrounded by uh, traps and you know animals, of course, it's 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 all good at the end, of course. Uh, no, it was just really really great stuff. Um, it still needs to find its place, I think, but it's not something like I'm grinding through this and it's you know becoming a chore to watch. Uh, it's it. I mean, you give this, uh, you give new shows a chance, of course, uh, when it comes to you know it starting out. So uh, yeah, and I think you know in time. Uh, the show will become more and more investing, of course. But so far, it's, you know, pretty, pretty decent stuff, of course. We've got some relationships blossoming um, uh, already, of course, and some teasers as well, because uh, I'm I'm sure Raven um, might be connected to, like, might have a connection to Finn. Um, and not platonically as well. I think there might be something going on, considering the fact that, you know, she did make uh, make mention about her boyfriend and all that, so, um, yeah, I, I, I'm just thinking, because, you know, Finn is, um, uh, has got eyes on, um, Clark, of course, and we've got a bit of a complication there as well, because Wells, you know, wants in on that, and Bellamy uh, taunted him throughout, saying she sees you, doesn't see you, she doesn't see you, now she sees you, all that kind of stuff. Bellamy's just getting on my nerves. <laughs> I mean, he is an absolute D-bag um, so far. I mean, especially with, you know, um, the first part of the episode where, you know, Clark was like, um, I guess, belitt well, she wasn't really belittling them, but she was telling them uh, all off about taking the wristbands off because, you know, it, it, it was an act of selfishness. And, you know, she has a very, very good heart. She's really, really uh, kind-hearted, of course. And... Um, 
Going back to the discussion, I think uh, Finn was saying about, oh, I know what you're doing. It's because of your dad and all that. I think, you know, even if he was still alive, I think uh, she would still, you know, be, you know, wanting to help out. But, you know, if she fails to save people like Jasper, for example, then she will kick, uh, she'll feel like she's, she'll be able to kick herself more severely because um, Clark has that nice nature and, you know, it's not like her father's death can, you know, be the decisive factor, I guess, to uh, her caring about people's lives and not, but, you know, it's that strong incentive and, you know, if you fail to save your life, it might, you know, bring back some kind of guilt um, to the point where it's like, oh... <laughs> you know, I failed like I did with my father again, so, um, yeah, it, it, it's a more stronger responsibility, um, because, like I said, I think she's, like, from what we've seen, she's a very, very respectable person, she, she has consideration for people, and, uh, she uses her mind, she, she has a clear head, of course, although, you know, heading into the traps was, oh, that was really, really daunting, I was like, check for traps, it's trapped. I'm telling you, this scenario is. I mean, Earth might have gone through a nuclear uh, abomination or whatnot, but you know, some things are consistent. And a person left in the open, um, you know, you could retrieve him. Surely, there's got to be traps or something like that. Um, yeah, it was just really, really, you know, great stuff. You know, discovering more of the characters, of course. Um, especially, you know, some of the, I think the key characters, um, like Octavia and, you know, her, you know, relationship with her brother, of course, and, you know, exploring more about her spontaneous, um, side to her. I mean, she, she is a very, very interesting character. Uh, Finn as well, like, he, he seems to be a really, really nice, uh, defense, uh, defense, uh, defending guy of course like he's he's there for he's there for um clark which is really really nice uh like i said bellamy who is like ugh, pulling teeth i mean he it, it wasn't just the fact that he was being so selfish when you know clark was saying you know we gotta stop being selfish and all that uh because he was like nah you know what screw them we, we are here this is our territory and you know they can't you know uh, we are not defined by their rules anymore so yeah, don't listen to her. It's not just that. He was willing to, you know, let Clark die as well. So it's like, um, this guy reeks of crap at the, at the minute. Like, be all because, you know, she is the voice of reason and, you know, he's not, I, I can, it, it's funny though, because I think early on in the episode, uh, looking back at the arc and, you know, the little squabbles going on with Kane and, um, Clark's mother, about, you know, what's the best course of action for the, for, uh, like, the arc, uh, which we'll go on to in a minute. Um, there was some nice little parallels going on here because we've got some, uh, we've got this kind of power struggle and, you know, differing opinions, of course. Uh, Clark, uh, Clark's mother is still holding out hope that, you know, there, there is a chance that people can survive it. And, uh, she does, like, whereas Kane is so insistent, as we know, he's, he's so insistent on getting rid of people all for the longevity of humanity. Um, Clark is holding on to, uh, Clark's mother is holding on to that hope, of course. Uh, she's been given an extra 10 days, of course, but, you know, apparently, you know, a hundred more people are going to die in those total of 10 days, uh, because I think what Kane said was that, um, 10 people die every day because of the fact that, you know, our resources are low and, you know, that they, they had to come to that decision. Like, do we, you know, go through with, you know, what was it? 200 people. So would that be 300 people in total then? Cause this decision has to be undertaken again. Um, but the chancellor has to, you know, entrust his, you know, entrust Clark's mother to, um, see if they're, if the plan, if, you know, the people are taking off their bracelets, which they are, but of course they are not, uh, to know about that and to see if Earth is to become survivable again, which, uh, she's heading towards, of course, with, uh, with Raven, so. 
Yeah, it's it's really, really interesting. But like I said, that nice little power struggle, of course, uh, between the two sides, between the Ark and between the Earth, is really, really investing at this minute. Because we're seeing uh, Clark, you know, give voice to the reason, you know, we, we've got to do this for the future of mankind. You're, you're depriving... It, it. You're not just killing us. Uh, you're not just killing them. You're killing us, that kind of stuff. And then, you know, Bellamy's like, ah, don't listen to her. So, yeah, it's just really, really great to see that power struggle, of course. But like I said, on the Ark as well. Uh, where we don't know what to do at this point for the next 10 days, of course, because the Chancellor is just decided to call it a tie, of course, uh, because he uh, is, he's, he, I feel he, you know, especially with that scene where he was like, um, putting Kane down because he knew he wanted that seat. Um, and then looking to how he does have a bit of admiration to, um, to Clark's mother and, you know, her decisions. Looking at that scene, I think, you know, that played a really, really great importance. Like, he, he's so, like, Kane so hell bent on, you know, going through with, um, you know, getting rid of two, uh, 200 people as a way to make living on the Ark a bit more of a stretch because they've got, like, four months to live. So he's got, he, he, he is more leaning towards uh, Clark's mother's side because he's given them that op- he's given her that opportunity to, you know, solidify her hope, of course, because he's he's you know a bit worried about his son, understandably so. But um, you know, with that news that the taking of the, br- uh, the I mean the bracelets and all that, and you know that it it might not be what. They feared like them dying, like every time they they go red on the screen, uh, you know, it might not be that. There's that bit of hope, and that's what he says. He he has hope, so uh, yes, yeah, not so foolish after all. But yeah, it was just a really, really, you know, it was really, really great, you know, discovering the relationships, uh, not just the, you know, the, I guess the romantic relationships as well. But uh, Monty wasn't it? Like he was talking about how he saw. Uh, Jasper in such high regard, and I thought that was really, really nice, and he was, you know, kicking himself down because, you know, Clark was saying, you know, use your head, which all goes back to her intelligence, because um, we don't know how, like, they don't know how long they can survive, especially uh, if the uh, supplies uh, at Mountain Weather is forbidden, I guess, considering the fact that they said, oh, it's their territory, so, uh, like, They've got to make the best with their resources. And, you know, it's all gone back, like I said, goes back to Clark's intelligence about how she, you know, told Monty to stay put because, you know, he was special in some areas. So she didn't want to risk that. So, um, yeah, but I just love how he, you know, was kicking himself and valued Jasper in such high regard. So that was really, really nice. So I'm, I'm liking how we're seeing some development between characters and their interactions uh, and, you know, their attitudes in this episode. Um, as well as, you know, that creepy guy, uh, that creepy person at the end, uh, which will be interesting to see how the third episode delves with that and, you know, the hun- the hundred, of course, but yeah, it was just a really, really great episode and a great continuation from episode one. Like I said, some great developments from characters and, you know, you start to love them a bit more or you start to hate them a bit more, I guess. Uh, Clark, you, you admire her, you know her intelligence and, you know, how she's able to do things, uh, I guess, efficiently and how she's able to conjure up some kind of, like, conjure up actions that don't seem too ludicrous. Uh, like I said, you know, she told Monty to stay back because he's, you know, essential. He, his key areas are essential for survival. Um, doesn't want to risk that, of course, going into this situation. And, you know, she's siding with um Bellamy, even though he is a bit of a difficult subject for Clark, uh, because he's got the resources. Like, oh, you've got a you've got a spear, we've got a gun. So uh yeah, it it you know, he's packing punch. I mean, you don't have to like the guy, but he can be valuable, like uh Monty's valuable in his key area. So it's really, really great stuff there. Uh but yeah, like I said, it was really, really great uh delving into, you know, people's personalities and, you know, seeing relationships develop and as well as, you know, the the this like the meeting on what to do, like do we get rid of two hundred people or do we just you know 
interest in um, Clark's mother's decision, of course. So uh, we'll have to wait 10 days, of course, uh, before, you know, we... Well, I don't know how long that will be in terms of the hundred. Like, uh, I, I don't know, uh, like if we're going to get another episode where we're coming, we're coming to these crossroads once and more. But, um, yeah, I mean, I imagine that something bad might happen, uh, or like there will be something that, um, you know, ensures that Kane's, p- plan does you know pick up steam of course it seems like he is pushing for that but he does i don't know for some reason he's he seems to be pushing it but he's allowing himself to uh, expose some kind of i guess leniency Uh, i mean he was talking uh, to that guy in the first episode saying if we're going to do this we're going to do it by the book so he has some kind of leniency but he seems to be pushing for the idea for you know uh, getting rid of 200 people, of course. I mean, longevity of the human race, of course. And y- you do worry about, you know, um, the survival of the human race because humanity could be extinct uh, at this point. But I don't know. He seems to be a bit pushy, pushy with it. So, um, and, you know, there's that hope. Like, you you tend, like, I guess for norm- like for people who I don't view as a bit, iffy, I guess. You have that, you know, reluctancy to side with hope, I guess. And uh, he seems to be a bit, he like when the Chancellor made his decision to, you know, let's suspend us for another 10 days. Of course, sacrifice is going to be made. That's why you could be a bit angry. But um, I don't know. You could be a bit sad about the fact, but, you know, side with that hope, I guess. And he, you know, just, I think, that's what I'm saying. I think he wants his, you know, um, culling idea to be pushed a bit, so, yeah. But yeah, that was a really, really great episode, another great episode of The 100, um, continuing from episode 1, hopefully episode 3, like I'm saying, I'm hoping the show does pick up steam, because I think it needs to find its footing uh, first, but we'll get that, we'll get that. But yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction, you can check my videos on the right, if you want to check out more of my content, you can also subscribe to my media feeds and channel, if you want to, hope you guys enjoyed this reaction, Hope you guys take care and I will see you guys next time. Toodles!